Hi everyone. So today's um, reading um, was actually a reading I did yesterday and I wasn't feeling too well so I was, I stopped the video so um, I didn't finish it. So I decided I'm just going to start all over today because it was a good reading. And uh, this is for the 144,000 Collective, the Divine Collective, um, those on a very spiritual journey that um, are seeking their truth. So yesterday I pulled um, one card. I was trying to pull one card from my um, Sacred Geometry deck and um, a bunch of cards flew out. And so I picked them all up, but they all went together, so I kept them, even though I only asked for one card. So I just figured I'd just go with it. And then I pulled a card from my Ascended Masters deck and a card from um, my Mayan Oracle. So they all pretty much go together. You know, illusion, you know, releasing guilt, integrating the parts, balance, and then emerging. And Hologram was the Mayan one and um, Veil of Illusion. So it's pretty cohesive. So I'm going to start with the Mayan deck, and I mean uh, the Sacred Geometry deck. Now the Sacred Geometry deck, um, it has Sacred Geometry patterns, so we have, you know, this pattern affects a certain part of your subconscious mind, while this one awakens a certain part of your DNA, so feel free to meditate, pause this and meditate on any of these at any time. And um, this is what this will help you with, so. We'll start with illusion. And the energy of illusion makes you aware that you can only find safety within. Stop clutching at straws, for they are delusional certainty, certainties. The truth is a process of evolution. It is constantly changing. And it is. What you believe to be true today could not be what you believe to be true tomorrow. You know, your truth is not necessarily the ultimate truth because it changes and it evolves. So what you believe today may not be what you believe tomorrow. It's just that we have so much information coming at us and so much of it resonates that we just don't know. We get trapped in what is our truth now? Um, when our third eye begins to awaken, we um, begin to see part of our past lives, you know, our past lives of of being, you know, we could have been a nun, or we could have been a soldier, or we could have been male, we could have been female, and we cannot distinguish in this moment which one of those lives is now. You know, which one are you? So it's about balancing and finding out that aspect of your truth. What is, who are you now? Okay, so the next one is, um, let's see, oh, here we go, balance. The energy of balance helps you recognize yourself if you are true to your feelings. If you recognize your own truth, nothing will be able to disturb your balance. And that's just part of what I was saying about the illusion, is recognizing what is really true. What is this truth now? Are you bringing in your past lives and stuck in those things? Or are you letting those go? Who are you right now? Were you somebody in your past life that you're holding on to? Sometimes uh, when we die in up abrupt manners, we are reborn and we don't know. We're still stuck on who we were back in that life. And we're not remembering who we were and who we are now in this life. So it's about remembering. Finding the balance. And the balance with the balance, the truth will be shown and you will emerge from the illusion. You will see the truth. Okay, and the next one. We're going to go with uh, integration. One second. Um, let's see. Because emergence was last. So integration. The energy of integration helps you apply new truths in your daily life. The energy makes you aware that you are responsible for your own actions. So once again, they all are mirroring each other with the truth of finding who you really are. You know, 
we may resonate with something that we are not because of a past life. But who are you now? Seek your truth. Integrate it. Integrate all those aspects into who you are now. Okay, and uh, guilt. When you are in balance, right here, uh, with your true self, you will make intuitive decisions. And when you act in your own best interest, other people might feel disappointed if they don't understand you. This can result in guilty feelings. Feeling guilty prevents you from truly surrendering and choosing your own path. The energy of guilt helps you acknowledge that feeling guilty serves no purpose, not for you nor anyone else. So when we hold on to guilt of the past, things that we've done, it doesn't serve us any purpose now. What is done is done. And unless you have a time travel machine to go back and change it, um, it really serves you no purpose to hold on to it. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Let it go. And, um, you know, nobody's, you know, when we forgive others, it doesn't mean we have to have, uh, keep them in our lives. We just let them go and we move on. So don't hold on to any guilt. Really release it. Really integrate your truth now. Forgive. Let go of the illusion. Balance yourself. Okay, and then finally we had emergence. And um, the energy of emergence helps you leave your cocoon for good without feelings of doubt and insecurity, so that you can spread your wings and show who you really are. And, um, yeah, so a lot of us are coming out of this cocoon. We're awakening. We're coming out of this cocoon. We're ready to fly. And um, we need to accept this new us, this new information we have, um, and integrate it and emerge. So when we let go of the illusion and the guilt, and we balance ourselves, and we integrate these new parts of all the things that we've learned, we will emerge from that cocoon. We will shed that skin and be made new. Okay, um, so next up we got, let's see, hologram. So I love that. It is, if you look at it, it is kind of like, you know, we've got the sun in the background. It's all intuition. Male and female, balance, balance finding that balance within the light, always being in the light. Your t dark parts coming together. Okay, so reflected image of the one, greater reality, expanded viewpoint, evolution into wholeness. In the midst of... And I will put this here, so in case somebody just wants to read along, versus, um, in the midst of collective trance, it is easy to see yourself as imperfect and unworthy. Release your self-limitations in receiving this lens. You're being offered the vision of your part in the hologram, the reflect reflected image of the great central sun, the source. Do you remember the hologram of Princess Leia in the movie Star Wars? Holograms are created when a coherent light source, God, is beamed through a mirror, spiritual reality, into a photographic field, physical reality, creating a three-dimensional image, you. You are being asked to embrace this expanded image of reality. From the greater perspective of the larger hologram, there is no time. Hence, you have already completed your return journey into oneness. When you look at yourself from this greatly expanded viewpoint, you will naturally embrace your humanness and your divinity in the process of evolution. The changes needed to bring you into alignment with your wholeness are mirrored in your external reality. What reflections are you presently being provided for? Uh, what reflections are presently being provided for you in the people and processes in your life? What you see around you is your homework in the process of spiritual evolution. Become aware of the gifts being offered in these reflections. You have natural resonance with the hologram of the greater harmony. Because of this, there are no mistakes or failures in your life. There is no way to do your life wrong. Take a deep breath and relax. What you are experiencing right now is perfect for your evolution into wholeness. I love that. And it looks like an hourglass. And it's full because there is no time. It's empty, I mean interesting well you could look at it in many perspectives but there is no time 
And um, finally, Veils of Illusion, 25, which is 7, which is the truth. The truth seeker. And um, love, peace, harmony, co-creating, <clears throat> adventures, freedom. And um, adventures in love. When we incarnate, we go through the veil of amnesia and the seven veils of illusion who, who we truly are. When you dissolve those veils, you become fully enlightened. To do this, you are called, to take, uh, called on to take mastery. Believe in the spiritual world. Practice unconditional love. Honor animals and the nature kingdom. Walk with masters and angels. See that all is connected. And finally, live as an enlightened being. You are invited to ask the unicorns to work with you to remove your veils of illusion so that you can become an enlightened master. An affirmation is, I am one with everything. And I like this because, so unicorns are just the fifth dimensional, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's fifth, fifth or sixth or seventh dimensional version of the horse. And we all know how horses are very strong and very loyal. And there's so much symbolism with the horse. But yes, yeah, so, and they have the magical horn, which is, you know, seen beyond the dimensions. So look behind, look past the illusion. Look past the illusion of all this, all these things that are going on within you. Who are you right now? Integrate all those parts. You are not your disease. You are not your illness. You are not male. You are not female. You are, you are not, you know, a Taurus. You are not a Capricorn. You are not a, f a five. You are not a three. You are you. You are connected to source. All these labels, they limit you. Be limitless is what I'm hearing. Be limitless. Don't limit yourself by what you think you are. You'll be open to all the many things that you could be and are. So when we have these titles, we hold on to things, these titles, because we want to show people who we are. Like, oh, well, I, I'm a Taurus, I'm a this, I'm a blah, 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 my moon shadow is this, and da, 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 and it's like, yes, that is great to understand that aspect of you, but it's not who you are. You are this unlimited being. And by putting titles on what you are, you are putting a limit to who you are and what you can do. So, uh, that's it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, so like I said, um, let me read you this ask, this part of the, what this book does, what, what these cards do. Sacred Geometry is, is very, um, it goes into your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind reads it kind of like that's what crop circles do. I think that's why they were put there, to awaken us, to awaken dormant aspects of our DNA. And um, so we're going to start with, okay, here it is. Sorry, it's taking me a minute. I thought I had... Saved, um, okay, here it is. Uh, the hologram has an effect on your subconscious. So this is the hologram. While the silver code contains an energetic code, this code, w this code will make sure that the feeling you're experiencing right now will be stored in the right places in your subconscious mind. So, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm still sick. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over this, whatever flu I have. So I'm just going to place this here. And you can pause it and just look at the image, meditate on it, pause it, meditate on it. And this one as well. That's illusion. That's looking beyond the illusion, lifting the veil. This will bring balance into your life. This will help you balance all parts. So you can pause that as well. Integration will help you integrate all aspects of yourself. Beautiful images. Guilt. Release guilt. 
release unforgiveness, release shame. Emergence. Emerge out of that cocoon. And if you look at it, it even looks like it's like a coming a worm, I mean a caterpillar coming out and turning it into a butterfly. Okay, everyone. That is it. Did you read that as well? And that is all for today. I, I will be back soon uh, with another video. And if you like this video, if it resonates, feel free to like, subscribe. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.